Why, Mark, you've brought me one of your spider plants. Yes, I have, Liz. Uh, I think it's in need of a little help here. Well, let me look at it here. Yes, it does look like it could use some attention. I see that the bottom has actually busted right off of here because you have all these roots growing down at the bottom. Can you see that? Yes, I can. I'm a little embarrassed that? about the situation. That's why I'm here. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll uh, make sure your plant is back on the right path by the time you leave here. Now, I think that the reason it was doing this is it was trying to get water out of this bowl. Mm -hmm. And probably the reason is because you haven't been watering it quite as much as you could. Now, how often do you water this plant? I water it once a week. You do, know how, do you know about how much water you put on it when you water it? I just water it uh, as much as I feel like it, really. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like to cover it, you know, so that there's a layer in there. And uh, actually, I used to check to see that water rolled into the bottom, but that was when it started to have the problem with the roots. I, I didn't uh, pay too close attention to the base anymore. Oh, I see. So I would just pour water in there and figure whatever it was getting was better than nothing. <laughs> All right, now what kind of light are you keeping this in? It's in a window on a, uh, a western exposure. Okay, so it gets some afternoon sun? I think so, yes. Okay, that's quite bright light, actually. But it looks to me like, can you see like today how, how dry the soil is? Just feel, even just on the top, it's like really bone dry. And if you stick your finger down in there, in fact, you can barely stick your finger down in there yes, <laughs> because there's dry. so many roots. Spider plants do tend to have quite a root system. And I think this particular plant has grown an extra large root system in comparison to its foliage because it hasn't gotten quite enough water. Oh. Yeah, spider plants have roots that are called rhizomes and they tend to hold in water. So I think that what your plant's been trying to do actually is to keep itself better watered. So I was going to ask you if from now on you can maybe check it twice a week. Uh, and see if, if it's dry, you know, about a half an inch down if you can get down in there. And then, th then you'll know. Do you think you can do that? Yeah, I promise to take better care of it. Okay. <laughs> Well, in the meantime, what we're going to do for you today is we're going to repot it. We'll get rid of these excess roots because because they really aren't doing much good at all down there anymore. And I'll take off this wire hanger. And yeah. while I'm doing that, you can tell me where did you get this plant in the first place? Well, about uh, someone gave it to me as a present about four years ago, right about when I was married. And. Uh, when I separated from my wife, I got to keep it in the settlement. Oh, this is one of your custody plants, That's huh? right. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is cut off these roots, and I'm going to use a pruner. You could also use a knife, but you need something fairly heavy-duty to get rid of these. And believe me, it's not going to hurt the plant Whoa. at all to get rid of these. See how twisted they are around here? Wow. The poor little guy. <laughs> Now, do you ever fertilize this plant? No. Not ever? Nope. Do you have any other plants at home? Yes, I have a few. Uh -huh. Now, do you fertilize any of them? No, no. Because one thing, once this gets used to having a little more water, giving it some fertilizer will really, you know, get it to take off. So I'd recommend it, and you can use it on all your other house plants. Great. But I think you'll see a big change in this if you water it a little more often, and perhaps a little heavier, too. Well, now that I've gotten it out of the pot, one of the uh, spiders has come off. It's so brittle here that you know what I would do? If I were you, I was going to repot it. I was going to put it in another pot. But I don't think that's going to work here. I think what we're going to have to do is sort of start back at the beginning. Okay. So you can now consider yourself, you have a baby spider plant here, and what you want to do is put it in some water. And can you see here I don't, where there's just like a little nub coming out? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That'll be a root. Oh. And these root really well you know, in water. Oh, I can tell. <laughs> and so what I would do is also take this one off here, and it'll probably just break 
right off really gently and it's not so well we can do one of two things now if you want to we can repot this one since this one seems to be pretty sturdy or we can take it off and you can root them both together and pot them up when they have a little more roots on their own so what would you like to do i think since this guy's doing pretty well let's repot them you want to go ahead okay yeah. all right then that's what we'll do so we'll take off this as much of the excess here. Again, I'm gonna have to get out my pruners and get rid of that old plant on there. Take off the brown foliage and then peel off as much excess soil as I can get. But as you can see, there really isn't much on here. This is really mostly just a root ball. And that is what spider plants do. They have huge root systems. <laughs> and this one is certainly proof. Okay, so what we'll do is put it back in the pot, and you can have two spider plants. You have a new one to start, and we'll get this one back on the right track. All right. So when I repot plants, first I set them in the pot, and I can see that this, you want to leave about a half an inch or so from the top of the lip down to where your soil line starts so that when you water the plant, it doesn't all just fall right over. So... This one is already just about at that point, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of soil on the very bottom right here. There you go. Now what do your other plants look like that you've got at home? Are they in pretty good shape? Or are you gonna bring them to me another time? Well, I probably, I'm sure that uh, they probably all could use a little uh, maintenance. <laughs> But uh, I, you know, my feeling is they're doing pretty well. At least, you know, there's they have uh, green leaves, and you know, the leaves aren't dying. And I, you know, I assume that to be a good sign. <laughs> that is a pretty good sign. That is. And this isn't going to take very much soil either. We just want to poke it down around the edges here so that it waters nice and evenly. And then. We'll give it a good soak and it should be back on track. I also was curious, are, are you really aware of, um, you know, like the difference plants make in your environment? Did you know they keep the air clean for you? Oh yeah, I know that they, they produce uh, oxygen during the day. They take an oxygen, I mean di carbon dioxide and bring out uh, and, and let, let go oxygen and they're very important in our environment. I certainly know the importance of the rainforests in our environment. Mm -hmm. Now, did you know your house plants not only take in any carbon dioxide, but they also filter out a lot of toxins that could be naturally present? Actually, I was, I was not aware of that. You didn't know that. And did you know the spider plant's one of the best ones? Oh, really? At it, yep, the spider plant's one of the right. top air cleaners well, I'm gonna have in to the plant world. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take much better care of uh, <laughs> Spidey here. I think so. Okay, well, I'll just water it for you, and be sure you uh, watch its watering, and I, it'll grow out nice and full for you if you keep it in the same place where you have it, and just notice that it needs water a little more often and maybe a little more thoroughly than you've done before. So you're saying that if I maintain its water supply, you know, adequately, that that root problem will not reappear? Right. It wasn't, I always thought it was just a question, it just needed to be re repotted because it was just too big for the pot, but actually that was because of my neglect, huh? But let me just, does it look too big for the pot? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> even double the size the way it was before it really wasn't. Well, Mark, I really appreciate you bringing on your spider plant. And I know other people are underwaterers out there, too. <laughs> Mark's a great friend of mine. He has been for years, and I really appreciate you coming on the show. Well, I thank you for <laughs> giving my plant new life. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>